WPTZ was there yesterday when crews got the four-seater plane out of the water in Milton nearly a week after it landed in the lake and got stuck in the ice. Now, workers are trying to figure out what to do with it next. WPTZ's Hannah McDonald was there as they began to take the plane apart, and she joins us live in the newsroom. Hannah, do they have any idea or, or any plan for it yet? Well, Jared, whether or not it'll fly again with all the original parts has yet to be determined, but by the looks of it today, mechanics say it's not a total loss after all. After six days in the water, the plane that was beginning to look more and more like a submarine floating just below the surface of Lake Champlain was pulled, tugged, and secured to a grassy landing in Georgia. We were surprised it had hardly any damage on it at all. The first time a set of aviation mechanics got a look at the 27-foot passenger plane, there weren't many signs it had a bad landing on the icy lake, drifted north four miles, and had been hauled almost six hours to shore. Donnelly's underwater salvage expected there to be more damage. Because it was floating around in the ice and it's been upside down for a week, and we just assumed that maybe the windows would be knocked out and a lot more dense in the fuselage. A blow to the belly of the plane and marks on the wings were the only indicators there had been a mishap. Jeff Nielsen owns some of the land that mechanics used. His property is halfway to the spot where the salvage company originally planned to take the plane out of the water. I saw that they uh, were, weren't making very good headway towing it, so I, I uh, came down and checked, and they were in pretty close here, close enough to where we could talk to them. And that's when we made a plan here. Before the aircraft could be moved to its next location, 35 gallons of gasoline were emptied out of tanks in the wings. The small team also drained water and recovered valuables from inside. It's kind of interesting to find out um, what it's worth and, and what it's not worth now. It was all hands on deck detaching two 150 pound wings from the plane. Precision like that made this job memorable for Ray Donnelly. This one was fairly easy compared to some of the other ones, but on the other hand, it was hard because we're trying to get it with no damage. The other ones were damaged so bad it didn't matter. And despite that this plane was in the water since this time last week, the only thing that was lost was a cell phone, an iPad, the pilot's headset, and all of the original logbooks were still inside. From here, it's up to mechanics and the insurance company to decide what's worth saving. Live in the newsroom tonight, Hannah McDonald, WPTZ, News Channel 5. All right, thanks, Hannah. Now, we have more on the plane recovery on our website. There, you can check out pictures and raw video of it being pulled to shore and, of course, get the latest updates. It's all on WPTZ.com.